Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be looking at Excel as a database option. So in order to use your Excel as a database, you need to use database package uh, using which we will connect to the Excel and we will read data from Excel and do some manipulations. So first of all, why Excel as a database? Suppose you, uh, you have a large number of data and you are uh, uh, familiar with uh, Microsoft SQL or S uh, MySQL, right? Any kind of uh, database. So it becomes easy for you to write uh, queries and get the data, extract the data. If you are dealing uh, with uh, Excel records and you want to treat that records as a uh, database records. So you can use your Excel as a database. So mainly um, this option is handy when you are processing for a large number of records. So it becomes very convenient uh, to handle or to manipulate those uh, records. So let's begin with this. First of all, let me show you the Excel sheet. Um, we will use uh, the student.excel from our previous uh, video, from our previous session. So this contains, let me open this uh, file and it contains the data in this format, ID, name and gender. You have uh, the data here and what we will do is we will uh, try to read this data using Excel as a database and then later on we will update any of the information from this. Okay. So let me take a quick screenshot of this data. We, when we update, we will compare. Okay, let me close this Excel and now let's move to bot editor. So in order to use Excel as a database, you first need to use database package and from database package, you need to use connect command. You need to con connect to the database. Let me uh, connect and in session name, you can give any meaningful session name. Uh, let's keep default as of now. And here in connection mode, you have different uh, two types of uh, modes like default and user defined. In user with user defined mode, you can choose to connect with any of the database types which uh, are specified in the, this drop down list. You can connect to Postgres, SQL, MySQL, and various other options. So right now, our requirement is to connect to uh, Excel, and we want to use Excel as a DB. So let's choose default connection mode, and in connection string, you need to specify the connection string how you will be using. Uh, like that you will be using to connect to the Excel. So I have a connection string handy and I'll paste it over here. So let me show you the connection string. It's like provider and we need to give the provider name. And then in the data source, we need to specify the Excel file to which we are connecting. Right. And then these are extended properties which specifies we are using uh, Excel 12.0 to connect. Right. So this is the connection string. I'll paste this connection string in the description of this video so you can directly use it from there. And before moving ahead, I like to sh uh, tell you like in order to use Excel as a database, there is a prerequisite. You need to install um, the driver. You need to install a driver on your uh, machine, on your runner machine. So how you can install that driver? Let me show you. So here you need to visit the Microsoft uh, website. I'll provide this link as well in the description and you need to install Microsoft Access Database Engine. So you can down, just click on download and remember to download this version, accessdatabaseengine.exe. Uh, this is 32-bit uh, exe. You, even if you're using 64-bit OS, then also you need to use this option. Okay, and click on next and the, you can download it simple next next and install so i have already installed this on my system so let's move to the bot editor uh, once you have installed that you will be able to connect it using this connection string now let me pull up this command read from uh, so read from uh, we want to read uh, the data so in database how we read the data using select statement select star from and table name so in this case our table name is the sheet name so we'll write sheet one dollar dollar so this is uh, this way it uh, uh, this will be treated as a table so select star from table 
So you can also specify maximum number of records to be fetched. This is optional and the timeout for the query. This is also optional. If you click this, if you check this box, you can export the data to CSV. Whatever data is read from this statement, all the records will be pushed to a CSV file. So we don't want this right now. So this is how you can read the data. And now if you want to display the data, which is read, we will use loop package. Let me drag and drop the loop package and in loop you can see this option from each row in a SQL data data set. So here uh, def uh, session name will be default and in the variable we need a record variable. We need to create one record variable. Let's create SQL data set row variable and here uh, let me pull up message box to display the data that we are reading. And in message box, let me write this SQL data row of zero. This will get the data from first column, first row, second column, third column. So one and two. So in this loop, we will get keep on getting the data until uh, uh, we, we hit the end of file. So this will show us the data. So let's run this bot and check if this is working. So here what we are doing is um, we have just down like we need to connect uh, using Microsoft Access Distributable. Oh, there's some error could not connect to the database. Let's check why it is not able to connect. So the provider, okay, we have missed the quotes here in the connection string. So it might be a typo while copying the connection string. Let's run this bot again. So it will just connect to the Excel as a database. It will get all the data and it will print one by one. So here it's displaying the records one by one. So this is first record, ID, name and gender. So this way all the records will be read. We had five records. So all the five records got read and bot finished its execution. Uh, now let me again pull up the database uh, package. And from there, uh, let's, uh, let's use uh, another option. Uh, that is, let's update the data. Let's try to uh, update any of one of the uh, record from there. Uh, let's move it outside the loop. Okay, uh, we will just comment out this loop now. It's not needed, and even the select statement is not needed. We are just using the update statement now. So in SQL, how we do update state? Uh, how we write update statement is update table name. So in here, it will be our sheet one because that's our table name. So update sheet one set so whatever name we had uh, what we want to we want to set something like this so uh, for 1005 aj let's uh, uh, or maybe arti let's try to modify uh, this name update this name so instead of arti uh, we want to uh, append uh, we want to remove one a let's say just a r t i we want to keep it so that there's some correction this name uh, some person has suggested like uh, there is no double a in my name it's a r t i so how we can do that update statement uh, set name or name set name equals to r t and it will not be RT. It's RT. Uh, this is not a real-time uh, use case. Just uh, just to give you an example, uh, we are trying to do this. Okay. So RT, where? And I'm writing the, all this in caps. It's not needed, but just I'm following the SQL convention. So uh, you can write it in uh, any of the case. Uh, so where where we uh, need to write ID equal to 1005 
always remember to uh, write update statement along with a where clause so where id is equals to 1004 okay so save it and let's run this uh, one more thing let me disconnect as well it's better to always disconnect your open session so whenever you uh, connect to a database and you use connect command or, or open command it's always advisable to use close and disconnect respectively so we have disconnected the session let's run this now so we have taken the screenshot from our uh, file it was double a a uh, double a r t i r t and now this name should be updated to a r t i so let's check the excel bot has run successfully let's check the excel file and you can see the data the name has been changed to uh, or been updated to a r t i so that's how you can update uh, the excel using as if it was a database table so guys uh, this is all about using excel as a db um, we will be covering the other options of this database package uh, in uh, uh, later sessions thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel